Hey everybody, Brandon Lejeune here from the Debbie Deep Dive Podcast, and today we're going to take a look at Baylor senior wide receiver Denzel Mims. We're going to do a scouting report on him. I've watched all his film from this past year. We're going to take a look at his strengths and weaknesses here and go over and see what we think about him as an NFL prospect. All right, so Denzel Mims is a three-star prospect coming out of high school. He's going to be drafted this year. He's six foot three, 215 pounds, really good size for a good, solid possession receiver in the NFL. He's a former high school track star. This spring, he ran a 4.540, just certainly a nice uh, number given his size. Really looking forward to see what he does at the combine to see if he can get into the 4.4 range. In this season, he had a 41% dominator rating, which is certainly on the high end of the scale. You can see as a freshman through his stats here, he uh, didn't really do much as a freshman, but sophomore, junior, senior season, he was very productive, very consistent, and was one of the better, obviously, wide receivers for Baylor this year. He really excelled, having more catches than he's ever had in college and exceeding his uh, two seasons of eight touchdowns this year with 12 and was certainly the focal point of the um, the Bears' um passing game okay so let's take a look at Denzel Mims and his strengths and weaknesses you're going to see these throughout this uh, game film here today he's got a really nice large catch radius you're going to see some really spectacular catches I think for his size he's got athleticism and agility is one of his strengths he's got great play strengths you're going to see many catches where he is up against defenders and making the catch through contact and along with his play strength he's got outstanding strong hands um, has had a little drops this year, but overall, I think he's got strong hands and uh, has the ability to uh, really come down with uh, some really nice catches. Uh, so you're going to see that again throughout this film. As far as areas of improvement, you're going to see he uh, needs to improve his route running. He's not the sharpest, uh, doesn't come out of his breaks really super sharp. Uh, and you're going to kind of see that throughout uh, this game, the game film here. And uh, so let's get started. All right, so this is uh, from the, the uh, spring practices at the, uh, not the spring, at the Senior Bowl. Okay, so this is uh, him up here. He's here, and this is just some practices. Now, he came out of the Senior Bowl practices with flying colors. Uh, he was probably one of the winners in a lot of articles out there of improving his draft stock. And, um, you know, we're going to go through three plays here through the uh, practices that I want to show you. Here, this is really tough to see. He does a decent job coming out of his breaks here. You know, again, cuts doesn't really have a big sink hip there to come out of his breaks really sharply. And again, this is probably one of his knocks. But again, you can see the space he created in the practice enough to, uh, you know, lose that defender. And, uh, you know, has some decent long speed, but not not fantastic. So this play here, again, this is just uh, the second play of the practices. I want you to, I'm going to play it first, then I'm going to replay. But I, there's something here that I see that I think is the nuance to him at least running and uh, running his route on this play. So let's just take a look at it, okay? And then, you know, he's going to bobble the catch here and make it, okay? But let's go back and look at it in slow motion, okay? So I want you to notice something right here. So he starts to cut on the left on the outside. You know, and this is a corner pattern that he's doing. But I want you to watch how he kind of works his way inside to shield this defender. And then this defender is going to end up kind of hitting his back and kind of stumbling. And then he's going to create the separation here. So you see how he comes in right there? kind of sees he knows he's supposed to go out here but he kind of cuts in just a little bit to trip up that he's got positioning on this defender and then you're going to be able to see how he has the um you know now you see how he has the separation here as you can see he's kind of lost his step and footing here and i thought that was a, just a neat little nuance of his route running where he kind of got in front of the defender to kind of shield him and stumble him up and then creates the separation and then again makes the uh, good concentration with the hands there so this really this next play here is uh, really good, okay? And I think one of the things that really a lot of receivers coming out of college struggle with is getting off press coverage, right? So a lot of the a lot of the receivers coming out in this year's class, you know, have the ability whether it's strong hands, yak, and you know, sprinting down the field. But can you get off press coverage? And I think that's what makes or breaks a lot of receivers in the NFL. So let's take a look at uh, what he does here. Watch the push that he does off the line of scrimmage here to create separation. Boom, right there. You see that? Look at the guy's on his back foot, and look at the separation he creates. It's all within five yards, so that is kind of legal in the NFL. All right, and then he's got the nice nice extension catch. Let's look at it again. Boom, puts him right off his balance. And this is what all the, the uh, NFL draft scouts saw down here at the senior ball practices. You know, and then he makes the nice catch, you know, with the hands out, good technique. 
So he had some uh, really good spring practices, and again, he came out with flying colors and uh, definitely elevated his draft stock coming out of the Senior Bowl. All right, the next six plays here are from his game against Oklahoma. Here he is at the top of the screen, okay, X receiver position. Now, this doesn't show the biggest burst of line of scrimmage here, okay, but this catch, this play is all about the catch and the contact and the play strength, okay? So here he is at the top of the screen, okay? Kind of gets some separation there. He's in, you can see he's all congested here in the middle of the field, but he makes the catch here. And just look at this catch, okay? So this is, again, his strong hands, all right, you can see he's making the catch, the concentrated, the guy's just draped all over him, taking the contact, and he makes the really the strong grab there in the catch. So again, one of his strengths we talked about was just his, really his play strength, his um, ability then to really just clamp down on that ball and make the catch, okay? So here he is at the bottom of the screen, okay? Here he shows a little burst off the line of scrimmage, and he's gonna use his hands during his route to create the separation, okay? And so there, little burst you saw, he just bursted off the thing. And then you see his hand contact right here. So, you know, again, he's just using that as leverage. We're going to see another replay of it here. As you can see, a nice release here, little burst right off the line, gets separation, and then uses his hands there again. Eh, it may be borderline a push off, but I think that's hand contact in the NFL. I think he uh, uses that well just to create the space and you know, keep an eye on, uh, you know, where he's going, you know, throughout his route. Okay. So, this is a slow motion clip here. Okay, he's lined up up here at the top of the screen. And again, I want you to look at his physicality and the punch that he provides this defender here as he goes for a little kind of slant route up here. Okay, so let's just watch the contact right off the line of scrimmage here. Okay, he's going to go in. He's going to punch the punch the guy right there. But you see how he he, he goes inside. But now he's going to take a run to the outside and gets through the hand contact here. The physical nature of him and his size is able to really deflect that contact and still has the ability then at the end of the stem here to get open. Okay, created the separation and then really nice extension of the hands catch to uh, you know, create that separation at the top of his route. I thought was really good. I like the way he attacked the defender right off the line of scrimmage. And again, I think that's going to give him a leg up at the next level, okay? So here we go on the next play here, okay? We're going to see here, here he is, he's going to do, and he's going to run like a little out pattern here, okay? And we're going to just see, this is what I'm talking about, about his strengths of areas of weakness that he needs to improve is the route running on this route. So let's watch his route, and it's very rounded, Okay, see how he kind of just takes his time with the route. Now, he may know that he already is beating this defender. He may already have played throughout this game and knowing that this guy's not very good and could take that lazy route. However, you'd really like to see him like stick and stab his foot in the ground and make a sharp cut with his sink hip out to the right, but he doesn't. And, you know, makes the catch, okay, um, which is great. But again, that was the route running where that you could see was a little bit lazy, you know, on the route. Okay, so here he is on the bottom of the screen. Okay, and here he's going to really show, um, you know, we just criticized him a little bit for his route running, but here he's going to show a really nice stop route to create space. Okay, um, the catch technique isn't fantastic on this play, but here he is down here. Okay, nice stop route right there. Okay, body catched it a little bit, but that's okay. And then you know he absorbs the contact. You know little strength there trying to get out okay so let's just look at it again okay nice stop right there that was a really nice stop route crisp body catch next play okay so all right so here he is again down at the bottom this is another stab slash curl route whatever you want to call it um, here he shows his contact balance and physicality and uh, his little bit of yak ability here he's got after the catch here so here he is down here okay Got it right here again. Caught the ball in his belly. Here he got, makes some contact. Okay, it's really turns up feel quickly, and then you know, nice little jab step right there again. So he's got some yak ability to him, um, you know, in his game for sure. All right, here's his men's game film against Iowa State. Okay, here he is down here at the bottom of the screen, lined up again in the X receiver position. He's pretty much on a go route. Um, but again, he uses his hands well during his route, and again, the strong hands to absorb the contact. Okay, so let's watch the play here. So he's just going to go on a go route. It's a big, big play. Okay, and again, you can see the use of hands right here. He's doing that again to help keep leverage to control. 
and then he makes the big catch here at the end. We're going to take another close look at it here. So he's proud of himself. So again, you know, just runs. Nice little uh, hitch move there. And then again, you can see he makes the catch. The defender's there, makes the contact. And again, the strong hands to keep the ball throughout the catch. And, you know, that was, I think, again, just showing his ability to use his strong hands and absorb the contact. Okay, here he is lined up at the top. Okay, and I want you to watch. It kind of goes out of the picture here. But again, the physicality of Mims and his size, I think, is going to bode well for him at the next level. So I want you to see when he's, you know, he's going to make a nice catch here. It's like a little comeback route. But I want you to watch as he runs here the contact that he makes in the receiver. Boom, right there. You see that? He just goes right into him, knocks him off the route. Okay, and then he does, you know, pretty much sinks here, stays, you know, finds the opening, you know, in the zone coverage here, and then just, uh, you know, makes the catch, takes more contact. Okay, but I really, again, like that ability where he is just, again, not afraid of the contact within his routes. Okay, now here's a really good, nice play. It's a little post pad or a corner route, rather, fade pattern. Um, and again, good hand, you know, he's battling with his hands here, creates separation. Okay, you can see really nice, you know, he started here and within three or four yards he created space. Okay, and then the body control and adjustment here and the, the leaping ability, the contested catch. We're going to see another replay at a different angle, but that's that's a really nice play right here. Okay, we're going to take a look at it again one more time. All right, you can see the hand contact. See how he swats him away with the swat. Okay, you know, he's now, look, the good defender. He's already off, off balance. You know, if the ball was thrown out here, it would be an easy walk-in touchdown. But again, watch the control. I mean, that that's good stuff right there. I mean, he is like mid-air, adjusting his body, making the catch, and again, the contact, the, the defender swatting after the ball. So again, um, that that's a, that's a really, really good catch. Here's another look at it right now. But, you know, again, just you know, swatting the ball, strong hands, and comes down, comes down with the ball, okay? So on this route here, he's on the bottom of the screen, okay, and he's going to win on a go corner route, okay, and I think he takes, he sets up his defender really well on this play, okay, you can see it here, again, nice ball placement, really nice throw, but, you know, the devil's in the details here that we're going to see, and he really sets up the defender really nice, we're going to do a replay right here, okay, so you can see that he sees his positioning inside, sees this defender and uses this to his advantage, sets up his block really well, and then, you know, a little stutter step there. This guy's out of control. You know, look at his footwork. He's he's just, he's a mess here trying to recover. This is a penalty. You can see the ref here. He, like, you know, again, but I love the way he gets out of the contact. He fights off the contact and continues his route, and this guy still doesn't have a chance to get him. And, again, the good concentration with the catch. Um, you know, in the end zone. So I thought that was a really, really nice play. All right, we're going to take a look at some of Mims's film against Texas, okay? Uh, the first play here, he's going to be lined up. Love these uh, bright yellow uniforms, by the way. I don't know what it is about them. Oregon has them too, but really like these bright yellow uh, uniforms. But he, here he is lined up down here, okay? And he said uh, he's going to basically do an out route, but I like his agility to elude the defender on this play. He's going to kind of accept the ball right here. Okay, and then you can see this defender has him. He's going to plant his foot here. Nice, nice stick in the ground, elude the defender. Okay, and then he dives forward and gets the first down. So that's a that's a nice play right there. You know, very simple play, but yet again, it shows his ability to see where the first down marker is to make the illusion, um, uh, to you know, make the defender miss there. So here he's at the bottom of the screen. Hey, playing against man coverage. He does a nice little stutter step here at the line. He's going to beat his, beat his man. But I want to show you something you really can't see on this first play. And the first uh, you know view of this, he gets you know right here. Okay, and then he really makes the defender miss. Little contact balance runs. Little yak after the, after the catch there. Okay, but I want to show you here the replay and what he does on this play that I think is interesting. So you can see how he catches the ball. Okay. Um, he's looking to the left. He's looking to the inside. He's got his foot planted. And this defender most likely thinks he's most likely moving towards the inside. But he sets him up, you know, kind of eludes him. He falls down. He fakes him out. 
little, you know, stutter step there. He gets the contact balance and then the yak after the catch. So I thought that was just a nice play of him setting up that defender. You know, very the subtle nuance of the route, but again, something that is, uh, I think, worth noting. So here he's up at the top of the screen. He's going to run a crossing pattern here. It's going to show his yak ability. Um, not the best route in the world, again, but again, he's going to absorb the contact here a little bit. You're going to see you know, right there he kind of got tripped up, makes the catch. He's going to run across, and unfortunately, he gets the ball stripped out of his hands. So he's got to be a little stronger with that ball. He can't be hanging it out there like that in the NFL. But, you know, I'm not going to judge him on that so much. So he made a nice catch with his hands. Okay, you can see he's going to point. He's pointing to his defender. This would have been a touchdown. Okay, he had the lane here behind number 81. He would have been going in for the touchdown. Nice play here by number 31, who uh, slaps that ball out of his hands. But you can't be doing that. So little, just another quick little look right there. Okay, here on this play, um, you know, this is really his best catch of the season. Here, here he is at the bottom of the screen, um, and he is going to have a hard time creating the separation, but the catch is, I believe, his best catch of the season. You may have seen this. It's probably on a lot of highlights, but it's worth seeing and, and noting just what he does here. It's really hard to see. It was a great, great catch, but you're going to see it here on the replay. A lot to look at on this on this play right now. So here are the balls on its way. Okay, you can see he's got the inside position here. He's got the defender drag hanging all over him. You know, he's really nice sinking his hips here, which is going to allow him to explode to, you know, his outside shoulder to make this catch, you know, with the fan. I mean, it's on his fingertips. Um, really nice agility there to really make that angled catch. Grabs the catch. Look at him. It's just barely touching there on those fingertips, and he pulls it in. And that is just a great, great catch. So there was a little pass interference on that play. Just another really good catch by Mims. Really good catch. All right, so on this next play here, okay, he's basically lined up here. All right, he's at the top of the screen, and he's just going to run really just a post pattern, a little crossing pattern here across the field. Okay, but just again, uh, not the crisp route that we would like to see, um, but just another extraordinary catch here you're going to see. So you see he cuts in, goes up. Look at the high point grab. Again, nice tall kid, six foot three, 215. Goes up and makes the call again with the contact, the hands. You're going to see here a replay that he has basically got you know a ton of contact again. So it's just his strength at the catch point is just really one of his best attributes again. You're going to see right here he goes up, catches the ball, and the guy's getting ready to swat his arms. Got his hands, look, his hands in between his arms trying to disrupt that ball. And look at that. I mean, and he still comes down with the crap. That is, that is pretty good strength right there at the catch point. So... Here he is at the bottom of the screen, and he's going to run a fly pattern here. Great body adjustment, again, showing his athleticism, his uh, jump ball ability, and his ability to contort his body in midair to make the catch. It's pretty pretty good pretty good stuff right here. So just running a fly pattern down the left side. Okay, Beats his man pretty well. Okay, You're going to see a replay here. So again, he's using his hands. Now, he's not pushing off there, but he's using it as leverage so he can concentrate on tracking the ball and knowing where the defender is at an arm's length away. Um, you can see the guy grabbing him right here, but here he's going to take one big step and then take another big, large step here and then jump into the ground, uh, into the air, and make that catch. And again, look at the contact. Two guys on him, comes down with the ball, and that's really, really good stuff right there. Again, just another really strong catch. And Mims, I think, is going to excel in the NFL in those situations. All right, we're going to look at some game film here from the TCU game this past season, okay? And here he is at the top of the screen. you got Mims here. He's going to come in and kind of do like a slant, you know, drag route here across. He's going to come in and come across, okay? Um, and I just want you to watch the contact here at the top of the stem. Boom, right there. Did you see that? See how he kind of knocked that defender off there? He used his physicality there to create space and then comes down and makes the nice kind of adjustment grab off the turf. This guy here, he's just pushing. He said, hey, man, that was like pass interference. It could have been a little bit, but I like the physicality that it shows of Mims, um, you know, not afraid of the contact and using his body and size to create space. Here he is at the top of the screen. Uh, it's a slant pattern again, going to the post. And just watch the athleticism at the catch point. Uh, it's just uh, really, really good here. You know, he's going to come up. I mean, look at, look at the extension. He just made the grab. Defender falls down. 
Okay, and he's in for the end zone. We're gonna take another quick look at it right here just to see, you know, let me just look at the extension. It's high point grab, okay, comes down with the ball and then runs in for the easy touchdown. Okay, here he's also at the top of the screen, okay, and again, he's gonna run another slam pattern, just another great ball plucked out of the air with his big strong hands. This is the final play of the video. You're gonna just see him go up, it's slow motion play here, okay. It actually runs out on this one and just again just goes up I mean again just look at the extension look at the extension of the hands and the plucks that ball right out of the air like that and there he goes and has another touch and that was the second touchdown of this particular game so I mean that's really you know the the report here on Mims I really like it. he's a big possession bodied receiver again six foot three 215 He's not going to beat you with elite speed, although I think he's got enough speed to get down the field when he needs to. But I think he's got the play strength at the catch point you saw throughout here. He probably needs to refine his route running, but I think if he lands in the NFL on a good team and gets some good coaching, they can kind of clean that up a little bit. I personally think he's a day two pick. He might sneak in as a day three pick, but I think a team like uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, for example, would be a great team to target Mims in the third round um, if he if he happens to fall that well um, into the third round. However, there's a lot of people saying right now that he's a day two lock, but we'll have to see. A lot can happen. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does at the combine, see how he comes in on this 40 yard dash. But there you have it. There's the little just detailed uh, you know work on Mims and. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can follow me at Dynasty at Deep Dive on Twitter. I do a weekly podcast called Debbie Deep Dive. And um, every video that you see me post on Twitter or, or at the Dynasty Draft Room or the Dynasty Happy Hour, you will uh, be able to see on my YouTube page as well. So I appreciate you giving it a watch and uh, have a great day.